Now, I just want to pretty this up just a little bit because it's uh, a little too ugly on the eyes here. And I'm going to do that by just making a, a couple walls just to make things nice and easy. I'm just going to drag this out. I don't need to be precise. And I'm going to show you the difference between um, some material things. So let's go like this. We'll create another cube. Let's duplicate this cube. And uh, bring it to the top. Duplicate and make one more. Duplicate those. Duplicate those. Duplicate those. Okay, so now what I've got is a um, one wall here made of one giant cube, and one wall here made a whole bunch of separate cubes. And now let's look at what the difference is between these two. So I'm going to go to Assets, and I'm going to make a new folder called Materials. If you don't already have one, I already have one. And in Materials, I'm going to right-click and choose create and create material. So I'm going to call this one red color. And in the inspector you're going to have a bunch of new options. And for now, we're just going to click under the albedo, click the color and choose, you know, whatever red color you want. So now we've got this material. We can just drag and drop this material onto the objects in our scene. So as you can see with all these single cubes we need one by one by one. Okay, so let's make another material. I'm going to call this one blue color. And we'll give this a nice uh, blue tone here for the floor. Just drag that onto the floor. And already it's starting to look a bit better. I say it's a bit better, but not great. Let's move this wall back. Okay, so what if we want a material that has some actual, for example, material on it, not just a color? So let's go ahead and create a material. And we'll, we'll call this one textured material. Now we can use virtually any image to texture our material, but let's just see what we've got in our game already. So we're going to click this uh, little circle here under Albedo, and we can choose some texture that already exists here. Uh, we've got a bunch of options here. Let's, um, let's use this blood splatter material here. And we can still add a color, and as you can see, it will just apply a color overlay to what we have. So I just want white because we already have a nice red, you can see here. And I'm going to grab this and drag it on top. And you can see what it looks like here. And if we drag this texture material onto another one, you can see it's a different size. It stretches out differently. So what if we wanted it to appear more times on here? What we can do is adjust on the material the tiling. So for example, if I change the tiling to 5 by 5. Oopsie, I don't want the secondary, I want the uh, primary map, the main map here. Tiling to 5 by 5. You can see that it's started to tile 5 by 5. Maybe I want something more like 5 by 2.3, so that looks better. But the problem is this material is constant across all the objects in the scene, including this one here, which doesn't look as good. That means you might need to duplicate your material and just call, you know, another name. You can click on it here and call it like no tile. Oopsie, spelt that wrong, but that's okay. And we'll call the no tile, change it to one by one tiling, 
and throw it on there. So just be aware that materials will get tiled across um, all objects in your scene. Now there's other things we can do. We can change the amount of metallicness of it and the smoothness, so how shiny it is. And we'll look in this a little bit later, but this is sort of beyond the, uh, our lecture here. But there are different ways to make each texture look more detailed. So we'll look at it a little